stay earthbound when prosperity awaits you in the stars. Come to Halcyon, the only colony on the edge of the frontier owned and operated by corporations. A trip of 10 short years will feel like mere minutes thanks to the comfort and safety of your very own hibernation chamber. You'll wake up in a perfect society designed to maximize your productivity with guaranteed full employment. With only a minor term of service, you will become the master of your own destiny when you go out of this world to the Halcyon Colony. Hundreds of thousands of colonists left to drift out here forever just to keep from damaging the board's bottom line. Disgraceful. Hello everybody, I am Muddy Dragon and welcome to The Outer World. So I played this game a long time ago. I did a few episodes on it, but I never managed to actually get through most of it. I had a few problems with the game. So, yeah, it's been a long time since I played. So we're starting all over again. And this time, we're going to complete it. So I'm just going to sort out my character and then I'll be back with you. Okay, now we're sorted out. Let the games be begin. Your lucky day, my friend. Not likely, bootlickers. Ugh. Initiate skip jump. Status. Structural integrity down 25%. Our levels down. <sighs> <Skip drive>. Shit. <laughs> Love it. Ah, there you are. Wondering what's going on, eh? A bit of bad news there, I'm afraid. Your colony ship was inexplicably knocked out of skip space and forced to complete its journey at sublight speeds. This means that you and every other colonist on Alp have been in suspended animation for 70 years, give or take. Normally, <laughs> reviving someone after so long leads to some quite horrifying results. It's called explosive cell death, but it's really more of a liquefaction. Something wrong? Oh, yes, well, not to worry. I've pumped your body full of a special concoction I devised to keep you from dying so horrifically. Hopefully at all, but uh, I guess we'll see, yes? Yeah? Unfortunately, I used the last of my chemical supplies saving you. I know it's a lot to ask, but I must have your help securing more if we're to save the rest of your fellow colonists. I'd see it done myself, of course, but the board has a sizable bounty on my head. Now, my ship is inoperative, but I've managed to hire a smuggler to help you out. He'll be... Oh, I see we're in position. Good luck! Goodbye. Does anything work around here? <laughs> Must be temperamental. Can you hear me? 
Is this thing working? Ah, hey. There you are. Now, uh, where were we? Oh, yes, the smuggler. His name is Hawthorne, and he should be waiting for you at the landing site. He's to be your uh, chauffeur, so to speak. And not to worry. I'm told he's a specialist. Dashing gunslinger, one of a kind ship, that sort of thing. You'll like him, I'm sure. I've also outfitted you with a simple wireless monitor, so I can track your progress. I'll check in with you as soon as you land. Good luck. I'm... Uh, all the colonists are counting on you. Until then... We landed safe and sound. Ah, you've landed good. Hawthorne should be close by. What in law's name? Yeah, that's pretty that close. Him? Oh, that idiot. I told him to plant the beacon and move away, not stand there holding it. Oh well, no sense in letting his ship go to waste. Right, let's move. I don't mind you taking his ship. Better you than the board, huh? Not sure I trusted the fellow. Might have gone after the bounty on my head. Shame about the whole squashing thing. Nasty way to go. Really, graphically, this game looks great. E, I'll take that. Yeah, got these beastie things. Of course, they don't attack us because we're still learning about the game. And there we go. We're out of there. Side effects. There we go. Get into this. Hey, you, come here. You've tried the best now. <laughs> now try the rest. Spacer's choice. Oh, wow, that stings. Eh, uh, we do that one. Uh, looks like the bleeding stopped. I owe you one. Hope you don't mind me omitting this little exchange for my report. Spacer's choice doesn't like us accepting outside help. E we were out on patrol. I saw a marauder camp up in the hills. Thought I could I'm going to try and go for then some of the similar, or right same, I, mean, I should say. What are the odds of that, right? As most Just of the same stuff as I did in my, my previous place. In here and blocked off the exit with those canisters. But I might change a few things. I don't know. I know roughly what I Spacer's did. Choice policy clearly stipulates what that some of my choices were anyway. Let's see if we can do matter. some of the Unless same I'm stuff dead. and some different I'm stuff. Obligated to be interesting. To I will report that illegally go for different people, different sides and stuff like that. See those canisters by the entrance? Marauders come sniffing around in here. And I can take them all out with a single shot. Not bad, huh? I need your gun. Yeah, okay. You look like you know your way around a gun. Got some spare ammo. Not counting the bullet in my side. Here, you can have my saber too, for patching me up and all. All Spacer's Choice weapons are now 30% less likely to malfunction. You've tried the best, now try the rest. Spacer's Choice. Yes, nailed at that time. Eh, right. I'm going. See you later. Do I shoot this guy or should I leave him? I'll leave him. Damn it, my ears! Oh, what just happened? Can you hear me? What in the hell? This. Yay. Okay, push Q to slow down things. Hey, stop shooting me. Thank you very much. I have taken a bit of a beating. 
And the other guys are running down at the other bit. Yeah. They're not coming over. That's good. Okay, we don't have any now. We've got some stuff. There we go. I'll take some of that. I'll take all of it, in fact. Yeah, this game is very, very colourful. <laughs> And yeah, I do. I I like the look of it. It's no, I'm not taking any alcohol. All right, you got nothing on your. Okay, we need one more, and we can unlock that bad boy there. So I'll probably do some skips here and there, because you don't want to watch me running around and all that crap all the time. Die. Hey, look, why don't you die? Wait, and you. Jesus H. Christmas. The people not die around here. Thank you. Here we go, we've arrived at the ship. Hey! Get over here before you get yourself killed! On the way, on the way. Aussie boots. Don't know where you came from, stranger, but you best keep your head down. There's marauders hereabouts, and worse, landing violators. Call on that rung leech. Landing in the veil without using an official Spacer's Choice landing pad. I'd slap him with a fine if it weren't for all these marauders shambling about. Uh, eh. Really? How is he? Uh, well, shake it up. Here yeah, yeah, we go for that one. Shouldn't have done that. Space's Choice family ain't authorized to receive medical aid from off-brand physicians. We'll see him back to Edgewater. Just as soon as I cross these marauders off with the swift, cost-efficient fury that's made Space's Choice the most trusted brand in personal defense. I just, you know, need a couple of winks to catch my breath. Stretch my legs some. Scared, are you? Don't worry, you sit. I'll handle it. I'll let us, we'll do. We'll do this one. Well, sometimes management's real good at cost-benefit analysis. But seeing as I'm the acting manager in this situation, you know what? You're right. It's time we cross those marauders off, find whoever owns that ship, and file a full report. Then it's gonna be fucking laminated. Here we go. Right, let's get him. I'm gonna get in their face. Okay, well, they're doing a fantastic job. Is that it? They all down? Oh, well, she's fucking gone. Okay, he's got nothing. Nothing on you. Oh, what are these things? A canid. Well, uh, Mr. Kimball, uh, your superior officer is down. They have been shot. Are you going to be okay looking after yourself out here? Say to people about your commanding officer. Wow, it's been so long since I've been in this place. Okay, level up. Marauder. Please be informed that ignoring me is dangerous for your health. Okay, I'm on the way. Hello, Marauder. I am Ada, the autonomous digital astrogator of this vessel. Hello. Please be informed that I am authorized to use violent retribution against unwanted solicitors. Please return any misappropriated equipment and exit this vessel in an orderly fashion. Failure to do so will result in your immediate destruction. I don't think so. Uh, blue, 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 blue. We'll go for that one. Sure, why not? She looks so surprised. Two, one. 
of you are still here. My deception protocols have failed. I have been programmed to express disappointment. This vessel is the registered property of Captain Alex Hawthorne. Oh, Hawthorne's dead. I am capable of accepting orders from anyone other than Captain Alex Hawthorne. Eh, uh, yeah, he's I dead. I understand. I will require some time to process this information. Thank you for your patience and for your honesty. I am programmed to take orders exclusively from Captain Hawthorne. If I accept your orders, then you must be Captain Hawthorne. Do you understand? Yeah, sure. Well done, Captain Hawthorne. I see your powers of deductive reasoning remain intact. Unfortunately, our engine is currently inoperable. Our main drive suffered a critical power failure, and we were forced to make an emergency landing. The main drive's power regulator has been irreparably damaged and must be replaced. Okay, sure. Astutely observed. However, the probability of locating a power regulator within a worker settlement falls within acceptable parameters of certainty. High capacity power regulators are sometimes employed in the electrical networks of worker settlements. I have taken the liberty of printing you a new captain's identity cartridge. Please try not to lose it this time. This cartridge identifies you, Alex Hawthorne, as the registered proprietor and captain of the Unreliable. Do you understand? I do. Best of luck in your search for a power regulator. Try to stay alive this time. Right. When I this last time, I sided with one group. I'm probably going to side with the same group, if I remember correctly on who it was. Okay, so I've just sorted myself out. And, I'll be oh. with you, friend. I'm Ernie. I'm the Spacer's Choice Department of Human Resources. Town sent me hereabouts to check on the guards. Uh, dead. Now, it seems to me, and correct me if I'm wrong here, but seems to me that the ranking officer is dead. Yep. Mind telling me what happened here? This is actually quite good, because in the previous playthrough, she didn't die. So this is new. This is so cool. They've actually sent someone over. This is good. And a bit of an altercation. Hmm. Altercation, you say? Yeah, shame as that goes. Spacer's Choice policy strictly prohibits dying during work hours. Yes, of course. Get to cleaning up. Can't just leave company property scattered about, bleeding out on the dirt. Uh, I could use it again. No sense in... Blah, 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 blah. Good idea. All clean and no shit and you'll fix it. Can I... No can do, No? Man. I can't take any? That armor is Spacer's Choice property. Bodies too. Living or otherwise. Company policy, you see. I see. You don't want to amble on over to Edgewater at your earliest convenience. I'll Cardinal's do that now. Office might have work for someone with your, uh, let's just say, aggressive disposition. Oh, and uh, be sure to stop by the Edgewater Provisioner for a can of salt tuna. It's not the best choice. It's Spacer's choice. Sure thing. Sure thing. Well everyone, thanks for watching, that's all I've got time for in episode 1 of The Outer Worlds. Thank you all very much for watching, if you're new please consider subscribing to the channel, smash like and hit that bell button to be informed whenever I bring out a new video. So, thank you all for watching, I'll see you all next time, bye for now.